Top 5 Priests and Nuns Who Visited Hell Number 1 Angie Fenimore, back in 1991, attempted suicide and claims to have went to hell before being saved. After a life review in which a series of images showing her life's entirety, she entered hell. There, she said she was with several people which she named the Suicides. She said they were surrounded by endless darkness and they were lost souls, too miserable and saddened to interact with one another, just rambling through a field. Fenimore would later be named Her Royal Majesty, Princess Angie Fenimore, the Divine Royal of Utah, and the leader of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Number 2 Howard Storm was an atheist up until he nearly died from a perforated stomach in 1985. Howard claims to have woken up in his hospital bed realizing he was a ghost. He was met by a group of shadowy figures that led him down a dark and foggy hallway. He followed the figures that seemed to glide and had trouble keeping up. Once he did catch up, the shadowy demons ripped at him, peeling off and eating his flesh. As he was being tortured and devoured, he heard a voice in his head telling him to pray. Having never done so, he began and the demons became irate and disappeared, saving his life. After, Howard dedicated his life to God and became a united church of Christ minister. Number three. Back in 1985, Father Jose Maniaga was hit and nearly killed by a drunk driver. Father Maniaga claims to have seen heaven, hell, and even purgatory. He says hell is about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and filled with souls screaming in agony. He also said there are several layers to hell and based on your sins and its severity, decide which level you end up. Much like the famous Dante's Inferno. More interesting is Father Maniaga saw several of his fellow priests and even bishops suffering in hell because many of them misled people with false teachings and bad examples. Number four. Sister Faustina, a Polish nun, claimed to visit hell back in 1936. She wrote in her diary what she saw and her experiences. She described hell as one torture after another and a terrible, suffocating smell surrounded by eternal darkness. Sister Faustina claims the worst torture, though, is that of psychological, a perpetual remorse of conscience and the loss of hope. She says that there are caves and different types of tortures based on the sins you have committed. She closed by writing, I would have died at the very sight of these tortures if the omnipotence of God had not supported me. Number 5 Sister Josefa Menendez claims to have visited hell several times over her life. In 1922 through 1923, she wrote of her experiences before she died at the young age of 33. Many believe her death was due to the many terrible visits of hell. She wrote about being squeezed between two burning planks as well as being pierced by hot irons and a constant putrid smell of burning flesh. She said there was the sickening stench that asphyxiated and corrupted everything. She described it 
as petrified flesh mingled with tar and sulfur, a mixture to which nothing on earth can compare.